Daddy, hot puppy. Um, Thank you for my bunny in the basket. You're welcome, baby. All right. Nice smile, An outfit for your bitty baby? Good morning. I am just getting ready for the day. It is a Sunday and Sundays are typically my catch up on work and house stuff. It is starting to feel like spring finally and this vlog is going to be a little bit about the previous week where we got to go to a Janie and Jack spring garden party where it was torrential downpour but still beautiful and fun. Then because we were in the area, we took the nugget to the American Girl doll store at their newest location, Westfield Century City. If you watched some of my last videos, I re visited all of my American Girl dolls from the 90s. One of the dolls was a Biddy Baby. It's the original Biddy Baby launch with Pleasant Company. All of my dolls are original Pleasant Company dolls. You guys who are wa who's watching, thank you so much. A couple of you guys were telling me that I have the number six, which is very rare and very very coveted on the doll market. I think I'm gonna sell that one. I don't know what the best place to sell it because it's the one that I have the least emotional connection with. It's one of my later dolls. And I really love my first doll, which was Kirsten, because that was the one that my mom really um, bought for me and like we bonded about. So my bitty baby is now in the hands of the nugget. I gave it to her to take care of and to play with. So when we took her to the store, it was to let her pick out her own outfit and some accessories for her bitty baby, my old bitty baby. And I can't believe the price of the dolls these days. I remember them being expensive when I was a kid and it was why it was such a big deal when I got a doll and when I got accessories with it and it was basically all I ever wanted for my birthday, for Christmas. I would save up all of my like money that I would get for whatever reason like Chinese New Year and things like that and I would go and buy. I didn't even go. We had to order from a catalog. There like some of the stuff is still reasonably priced in my opinion considering where the price started from but they're still really expensive if you think about it. So I was like okay you can pick out an outfit and if you really are into this we will continue to build the collection and of course she's like really into it. I promised her we would get her some baby bottles because she likes to feed her baby ba ba pity baby but I looked at the diaper bag cost and it comes with wipes it comes with a little changing pad and some food and diapers and it just made more sense plus it came with a backpack that she can put everything in and then I can also kind of store everything in if she's not playing with it but non-stop play with it and we also went to Target and got her a stroller and a little bed and a swing slash high chair hybrid for 30 bucks all of that for 30 bucks so that she can have a stroller when we're at the store because we have a nice sto stroller that i got for her a long time ago for her other dolls and she can use it with her bitty baby but i don't really like the idea of having the stroller be pushed around outside and then brought into the house so i could wipe the wheels it just I'm, I'm a weird about that. So we got her a more affordable option that just sits in our car now. That This vlog is gonna be like a combination of all that. Plus I'm gonna share with you guys kind of my Sunday routine of how I get the house in order and things that help me keep myself accountable, organized, and productive. Because if I don't set myself up for success with meal planning, grocery shopping, writing out grocery lists and all that stuff, I just, it becomes a mess. I create content full time here, as well as all the social platform. My personal favorite, my blog, where I share all my recipes and motherhood thoughts and tips and tricks. And I feel like it's such a great resource. I still to this day will go to people's blogs in order to learn about things, to read about how people got through certain parts of motherhood or life, like grief. I love my own blog, which is why I still put so much time and energy and money into it. Because blogs are actually the most expensive platform to start and be on because you have to buy your domain, you have to pay for hosting, you have to buy a blog template, you have to pay for your newsletter all the plugins. So that's definitely like the most expensive barrier to entry for content creating and keeping it up. And I also teach about 10, eight to 10 classes a week of Legree. I'm a level two Legree certified instructor, which is a high intensity, low impact workout on the mega former. And then I also, um, I'm a mom, obviously, you know, when you're a parent, you're working all the time. 
uh, just to keep this little tiny human alive, functional, <laughs> and growing, and to raise the best human you could possibly raise. There's a lot going on in my life. Now, if I didn't have products like Sun Sama, which is the sponsor of today's video, then I wouldn't be able to be as efficient, productive, and organized. And I'm someone who really easily gets overwhelmed. Like I'll watch people on their iPads creating notions and having these digital planners and customizing them and all this stuff and that just overwhelms me. So what Sun Sama is able to do for me is to streamline the process of planning, organizing, and syncing everything in a much, much more manageable way for somebody who is kind of maybe organized maybe comes off as more organized than I actually am, that it syncs to my Google Calendar. I can customize my notifications. I'm able to create tasks. I can migrate tasks. I can move tasks. If I don't get to something, I can just shift it to the next week or the next day. I'm able to sync my Google Calendars with all of my appointments, my meetings, as well as with the Nugget School Google Calendar, which is incredible. I can choose which calendars from Google to sync and I just kind of really quickly each night take two to three minutes to make sure everything is still in order and then on Sunday nights I take maybe five to ten minutes to really make sure everything's in order. So once you get it all set up, which takes less than 15 minutes in the initial sign up process and everything, it just is like very minimal effort to be on top of things which is amazing i've been really enjoying this dibs duo stick basically it comes with a bronzer and a blush this is the number three so what i do is i take the bronzer i go like this so this is like a really beautiful cream product and then i use the blush and just put it here dab 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 i've also really been loving this dibs good life goldie as a highlight so, I think the nugget is learning how to use scissors downstairs. It's. And then I also really liked, I think this, this one. I love this Spice Gal as a blush topper because otherwise I feel like my face just eats blush. Just use the lighter shade to brighten up my cheeks. Here in LA for a Janie and Jack event. Nugget is in the back. Go away, Rain. Bring an umbrella. I'm not really dressed for rain, I'm dressed for an event. Don't know why I bother curling my hair, but it's okay, we're gonna have fun, right? Yay! No, we don't. It's not a sword, baby.
back at our old stopping grounds here at the Grove because since we're already, oh, we'll move over. Since we're already here in LA, I thought we were going to go to the American Girl doll store to get Bitty Baby a new outfit and possibly a baby bottle. fail we went to the grove which we haven't been to in maybe like a year yep. year and a half uh american girl doll store is no longer there it's at the new westfield century city so we knew that they had a new one at westfield century city we just assumed they still had this old one uh <laughs> bad assumption you know what they say when you make an assumption it makes an ass out of you and me uh we're gonna get back in the car we're and head to the correct heading that way mall that was also very overwhelming just now. Yeah, but we got a good coffee out of it. Yes, very good coffee. So we are stopping and getting gas. We are by the mall, the, the correct mall. Nugget is down for her nap. It's perfect timing. However, I think she's gonna nap longer than I want her to. So we gotta figure out what to do. We were originally gonna try and meet up with Charlie, but he's not feeling so good. So they're staying home. And we're just gonna go to the mall get her a new bitty baby outfit and bottle and then probably have some food and then head home. Since the nugget is napping, Chris is stopping at a local Trader Joe's to see if they have the little mini canvas bags that I saw on TikTok that I really want. And I am in a dead zone. So luckily I brought my Kindle. I love reading. I go through maybe four to six books a month. Let me know if you ever want to know about my book recommendations. My favorite one that I've read this year so far is going to be Fourth Wing and I'm like itching to read Iron Flame waiting for my library hold or I might just buy it but I also have Checkmate by Allie Hazelwood because I'm a huge fan of Allie Hazelwood as well and Lucy Score is another favorite of mine who's available on Kindle Unlimited. Anyways, yeah, I will stay up all hours reading because it's my favorite pastime to do. So I'm gonna read now. Do you want to pick out an outfit for your bitty baby? <laughs> yeah, and then maybe a bottle or something? Bottle and a dress. Bottle and a dress. <laughs> okay, do you want to get out and look around? I did one in the bed. Well, because she, she was, just woke up from a nap. Or do you want food? Baby. You want baby oh, bottles? Yeah. Baby. I am dying. Look at this adorable bottle warmer. Oh. It's a lamb outfit. Okay, who's overwhelmed? <laughs> We're all overwhelmed, but in a good way. Does she have chocolate? Do you have chocolate on your chin? <laughs> yeah, it's on the corner of her mouth. Yeah. Look, baby. So Bitty Baby is the name. It's chocolate. 
chocolate. <laughs> it's chocolate. probably just run errands and take turns going into the store picking up our list. Nappy nap. Okay, I'm kind of sad that Nugget is too big for this, but look how cute. I love when the Disney stuff is subtle. I walked by, I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. It's Winnie the Pooh. And then there's this one that's Pooh also. If you have a toddler that's under two, definitely pick this stuff up. So we're in the parking lot of Sprouts because uh, we finished up at Target, but Nugget woke up and she was looking at stuff and kind of had a little bit of an accident. And I wasn't prepared for that because it's been a while since that has happened. And she, we had a little moment where she wanted to go back and look at toys, but we also have told her in the past, whatever she is doing, she can stop, use the restroom and we'll come back to it. But because I had to leave the store, we're not gonna go back into the store at this point. Uh, we finished up at Target. Chris is going into Sprouts to get her water and then going back into Sprouts to finish the rest of our grocery shopping. And Ralph's because I need to go home and film something for a brand before I lose light. And then we're gonna do a Costco trip. Sundays are our really busy, hectic errands day. And because I got a later start because of daylight savings and all of this stuff, we're just gonna try and do this as quickly as possible. We share our grocery list so that we can add things as we run out. And then I do an inventory at the end of the week <laughs> to make sure we have everything we need. Are you okay? Yeah. To make sure we have everything we need. And um, this way we're not over buying food and there's less food waste and less money waste. I just filmed a little brand deal and the best part about brand deals as a mom is that the nugget gets to enjoy it. <laughs> Happy spring! Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Do you want to see what you got? Yeah. I know you know some of it because you woke up while we were shopping for it. Yeah. Your allergies are really bothering you, huh? Bunny! Yeah, that's your bunny so you can paint it. Bunny, 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 hot puppy. <laughs> mm. And then, um... Thank you for my bunny in the basket. You're welcome, baby. And I know you've been wanting some markers. Mm, yay. So I got you some markers. You want to take it and hang out? You want why to take it Why is that part on this? It's just a cute little decoration. It's a little bunny. Another bunny? Yeah. You put it back on. Yeah, I can put it back on. Because we're going to go to one more store. we gotta, we got to go to Costco. And I wrote you a card. And we'll save it with the rest of the cards that Mommy has written you. I want the elf. I want the You want the chocolates? Yeah, those are for you. Our favorites. Tony's. I so good. I want to do my book. You want your book? Okay. Can we put your paint away so that we can get going to Costco? No, I want to paint my bunny now. Okay, well, baby, can we paint when we get home? Because we got to go to Costco and then we got to go have dinner with JoJo. I can paint my bunny you can paint it a little bit and then can we finish it later? Yeah. Okay. I'll paint it purple. Okay. So we're at Costco and they this Costco knows me too well because we're not even on our list yet. We're three steps in the store. They had a sand bucket for $14 and a bubble bazooka for $19. I'm thinking about that one still. 